Welcome back. <laughs> okay, so um, basically we left off when, when she had asked me if I would get guardianship. If I was to ever get guardianship of, a, of AJ, if anything was to ever happen. I told her yes. So basically Ella was like um, going to work and I, I think, no, she had gotten fired from her job shortly after she got hired. <laughs> So, um, she was, like, losing everything, like, her house and stuff like that. Um, I would help her out. I would take AJ if I felt like she was getting overwhelmed, which she was really getting overwhelmed a lot at this time, at this point. So, me taking AJ was, like, a normal thing for her. It was, like, take him, please. And it, she would call me and say, hey, do you mind picking up AJ because um, I can't handle it right now. So I would go get him. I just walk across the street, walk across the street and knock on the door and then I'm like, oh, well, where's AJ? And she's like, oh, he's in the room with the girls. This baby, this tiny little thing, he might've he, he might have been five, uh, five and a half months, but he was really tiny, really tiny. So it was like, oh my God, you have all those kids watching watching that baby like he could he couldn't crawl or nothing at that at that point and so um i was just like and her kids were really little so how the hell are they watching him basically her whole house was really dark um she was getting evicted she actually i guess uh her probation officer was like there was a warrant out for her arrest so she was kind of like hiding out or something but she didn't tell me that all at that time so I didn't know that was the reason why she was acting so weird. But uh, I would I, I would tell my husband, I'm like, oh my god, like I wish I could just take AJ from this situation. You know, it's really, it's really sucks. Like I hate taking him back. When I would bring him over, he would, it like okay, I started noticing something was weird when I would have him come over and then brown night time in the middle of the night he would get really um like break out in a fever uh have like 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 he was hurting and i didn't know why he was hurting or how he could be hurting or what like it was like he was going through some pain and i just didn't know where where like where does it hurt how can i help you like i'd give him medicine and stuff and i mean there was even a time where i called him like aj has another fever like I don't know why he gets a fever every time he comes to my house by the second day that he's there he's breaking out in a fever it was so frustrating and so then she she had to walk across the street and hand me some medicine that she had there because I had run out um so she was like oh okay well I'll go, I'll go bring you some so we met each other across the street she handed me some medicine and I'll I basically AJ was over there a lot at my house and um, he was very pale and he was to me he was just like a little white boy I didn't know how I didn't notice really how pale he was <laughs> um, but he was eating fine uh, small portions not really a lot like it he was very emotional child very um, like loud noises anything really upset him he would cry a lot and i'm just like oh god you're crying again i don't know why i don't know what to do <laughs> it was like one of those like i don't know what to do <laughs> like you're you're it was just really extremely different from my daughter how she was at that age well anyways um let's see when aj was seven months Alva asked if she can come to my house and talk to me, and I told her, yeah, yeah, I'm home, but I'll be leaving around uh, 6.30 when Carlos gets home from work because he's getting his check and we have some errands to run. Um, so, yeah, if you want to come over and talk to me, I'll be home until 6.30. And she was like, okay. Well, she never came, she never called, and then around 6.30, she called. <laughs> And she said, hey, uh, I know I'm supposed to come over, but do you mind if I just drop off AJ? And I was like, but you said you wanted to talk to me. Like, how did this get 
turned into you dropping off AJ again. Like, I didn't mind, but at the same time, it, it pissed me off. Because it's like, I really need to talk to her about the, whatever situation was going on. And it was just like, I really need her to, to, to come over, too. And um, so I was like, you know what? I'm in the car. I have the car seat. Just bring them over and bring a bring a bring a diaper bag, you know. So she comes across the street. I'm sitting in the car. Carl's the car's running. Um, I'm waiting for her to walk across the street and put AJ in the car seat. And she puts him in the car seat. And then, as we're backing out of my driveway, you know, I'm looking at her through the car window, and I, I dial her number. And I was like, you know, answer your phone. And then she goes, oh, and she was like, hello. And I was like, hey, so. When do you want him back? And she goes, well, I'm not coming back for him. I was like, what? And she's like, well, he's going to stay with you eventually. He might as well get used to it. Yeah. So I started crying. Because to me, it was like, how can, how can any mother just say that? How can any mother just leave their kid? So Carlos was already driving and I she was not in my sight anymore. And I was like, you know what, Alva? Just pack up his stuff and I'll come get it tomorrow. Don't even worry about it. And I was like, and even if you don't want to pack it up, don't worry about it. Because it's not like he has crap anyways over there. You know, I just at least bring whatever to tie me over for a little while. So I can come up with the money to get him his own clothes and his own diapers and his own wipes and shit. But... Um, anyway, so we went out to eat. I was, you know, and I I have a picture, I'll post it, of, of AJ eating McDonald's, because that's exactly where we went uh, to eat at McDonald's, um, right after all that happened. Oh, my battery's dying. And, um, the next morning I woke up to her putting out his stuff on my front porch. And I, I was like, why didn't you knock on my door? Why didn't you tell me you're coming? It was like 6.30 in the morning. And she was like, oh, I didn't want to wake anybody. You didn't want to wake anybody? Like, you weren't even going to say bye to your kid? Nothing? No. She didn't. She was more so like, okay, well, have a nice life. And you know what? It, and it, it's crazy because... That whole time I was going through something with myself, you know, and I told Carl, like, I wanted a son so bad. Like, I wanted to have a baby. Like, I have Adrena, and I wanted to have a son so bad. And so uh, having AJ come over was like, I, I, lo I loved him there. You know, I want a little boy, and I wanted to name him Eric. Um, <laughs> like, I had my dream, too. You know, I wanted I want a little boy so bad. Well, I got my little boy. <laughs> I got my little boy, not every, not in a way anybody else would get their boy, but I got my boy. He was always my baby anyways. Um, I later found out that the reason why he was having those, um, that, the like, like he was sick after every, after about 24 hours of being with me was because that poor little boy was going through withdrawals. I didn't know that. She was breastfeeding him. What stupid bitch breastfeeds a kid when they're on meth? Well, that one did. <laughs> that one did. Well, he's in a better place. Now, I'm glad she did what she did. Um, because... I don't know where he would be right now. Um, we went on with our life. She shortly went to jail after that. Like the next day after leaving all the stuff, she got arrested from her violating her probation. And then she was in jail for 30 days. She got released. But while if she was in jail, she signed a paper saying that I can get temporary guardianship. Well, then when I went to court, they're like, oh, well, we don't do temporary guardianship. We just do guardianship. So I was like, well, forget it. Let's do guardianship. Um, I don't think he's going to be going anywhere anytime soon. And if it, even if she tried, I probably wouldn't give him back. So I got that. 
it took a long time to get guardianship. It took a year. Okay, it took a year for guardianship to go through. It took investigators. It took, oh, it was it was like, you know, because CPS has to get involved. They have to talk to you. How did you get the child and blah, blah, blah. What happened to the mother? All that crap. After sorting all of those out, all of those details out and going to the doctors, getting it, he had no shots, people. Seven month old baby and no shots. Like, he didn't even have like, um, oh, when he was, because, you know, like he had just turned a year. You know, he wasn't up to date on anything. Like, she didn't take him for the shots that he needed to take. Uh, you know, when the baby gets released and then you, you take him to get a, a set of shots and stuff. No, none of that. So, I took him and uh, to go get checked out and stuff. And he was very pale. Um, we had him outside playing uh, to get sunlight on him because he was in, indoors in the dark all the time. So, um, uh, he had a lot of medical issues too. And I'm going to save those medical issues because that's a whole other chapter for part three. Uh, so stay tuned if you want to know more about AJ.